Welcome to the video course Learning D3GS by Pact Publishing. I'm Eleftheria Batsu and I'll be your instructor. Let me tell you some things about myself. I have a degree in Informatics and Telecommunications of Engineering as well as a postgraduate degree in Graphical Arts and Multimedia. I have worked almost three years as a laboratory assistant in the university and currently I work as a software developer. I have watched several online courses to help me learn in depth all the things I was interested in and I regularly upload tutorials in YouTube related to programming, UI UX design and coding best practices. Now in this course you will learn about D3GS. D3 is a JavaScript library for visualizing data using web standards. It helps you bring data to life using SVG, Canvas and GS, combining powerful visualization and interaction techniques. In this course you will learn about SVG and how D3 offers a comprehensive set of visualization tools for your data analysis goals and how to use these tools. Load data internally or externally while creating stunning data visualizations using D3 and SVG. Build line graphs, schedule plots, area charts, interactive tree diagrams, and customize your own map. Understand and use methods, functions, layouts, and selections to manipulate the DOM using D3. Understand the enter and exist modes, the click and update functions, projections, and the duration format in D3GS. In the first section of this course, you will get a glimpse of what is data visualization and D3GS. We are going to set up local server and run our first files. Next section, you'll have an introduction to SVG and you'll create some simple shapes. Whereas in the third one, you will learn advanced concepts and together we will create complex shapes with SVGs. In the fourth section, we are going to write our first D3 v5 code. We will set up our working environments, understand what is data and use the most common methods to select elements. In the fifth section, you will learn how to build data on elements directly on JavaScript files or by loading external sources. We are going to explore more methods and run our first functions. In the sixth section, you will start with a simple bar graph and as you progress we will code a more complex and dynamic SVG bar graph. In the seventh section we will create an amazing scatter plot, whereas in the eighth section you will learn to add axes in a chart, refine the outcome of your SVG shapes and create line and area charts. Last but not least you will do the collapsible tree diagram. Finally, we're going to have some fun with mobs and the geojson. As for the prerequisites, you will need a PC or a Mac, an internet connection, and I'll be using mostly the Google Chrome browser, and then you will need to have some basic programming experience in HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Other than that, we will often use the website of D3GS which is https d3gs.org. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for some amazing visualizations. Thank you!